you're gonna know exactly who I'm talking about if I tell you any one of these stories. A lot of shit happened on the way to the club. A lot of shit. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Chloe Hall. I'm the special projects editor and producer at Owl.com, and this is Backseat Facebeat. What's a backseat face beat, you ask? It's when you do your makeup so perfect in the back of a moving vehicle. It could be a plane, it could be an express train, it could be a car, whatever it is, your makeup just looks perfect. So today we called in the big guns, and not just like the big guns, like the big kahunas, the top dog, like the best in the world, bow down, et cetera, et cetera, Sir John. You may know Sir John from his work with Ashley Graham, Animon, and of course, his work with the one and only, the leader of our free world, the greatest woman to just walk on water, Beyonce. 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 So let's go pick him up and get the Beyonce backseat face beat. Hey guys. <laughs> um, Sir John, do you know what a backseat face speed is and have you ever done one? Oh my God. Do you remember the Miss Carter Show tour? Oh, do yeah. I? <laughs> yes, so, of course. There's this woman, her name is Beyonce. Oh, okay. She, Solange's uh, sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. The big sister. Uh -huh. We had to go directly from the, her, her plane to mm -hmm. the stadium. And when she gets out of the car, she has to go directly onto stage. Mm -hmm. So I had about 35 minutes to give her concert face. Okay. It's like yeah. we're turning corners and we're making things happen and I'm holding her face. I'm in the front seat, leaning over the back, holding her neck like, please don't move. <laughs> we always did like a wing catlock, cat mm -hmm. eye. So I had to make sure that those wing liners were going to the same party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flying. Through, through the bumps. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Just remember so this that. This is a piece of cake. Yeah. This is a piece of cake, guys. You did it on literally Beyonce. As we're getting the perfect face beat back here, I'm yeah. going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. And they're going to get harder as the face beat gets Ooh, more intense. I like the more difficult uh -huh. questions. Okay, yes, cool. yeah. in the hot seat a little yes. bit. So let's go. Let's go, let's do this. Let's go. Right, let's get started. Okay. I have no base on and then I'll hit you with the question. Okay, I love that. So basically I'm starting out with a water-based moisturizer just to hydrate the skin. Eyes up for me. And you always wanna make sure that you hydrate your skin before you put on any uh, foundation, concealer. You want this to be almost like a second layer. You want it to look organic and lived in like a second skin. How'd you get started? Where were you living? But I went to school for art and art history since I was six years old. Mm -hmm. I started working for Mac very on, early on. I think it was my first full-time job. Mm -hmm. Do you know Bloomy Soho? I mm -hmm. um, used to work there. And then as I was working at Bloomy Soho, you know, I met photographers, um, well, a, a specific photographer, his name is Desmond Tuckerson. He's like, hey, listen, you know, I'm working with a model and her makeup artist canceled. Would you like to do this shoot? Could you paint her face? Because he knew I was a painter. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know what eyeshadow is for mascara or whatever. You know, I had no knowledge of makeup. Yeah. But I just knew that it's just texture and color. Mm -hmm. So basically I did it. He liked it. The model liked it. He asked me, could I do the same thing next week for like 300 bucks or $250? Mm -hmm. And at 18 or 19 years old and you're like a starving student, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. A million dollars. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got fired from Mac for being late. Hi, Mac. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Mac. Um, even though I love you guys now, they know I love you. What would your 18 year old self say to the Mac person who fired <laughs> you? And what would the person now say to the Mac person that fired you? Um, you know what? I understand. Yeah. You have a business to run. I get it. You know, I'm so, the 18 year old? Yeah, that's yeah. good. I'm real, I'm yeah. real, and honestly, I'm reasonable as hell. Yeah. And I think that the 36 year old self would say thank you. While we're talking, I'm just mixing up these are liquid matte lips, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm using these as uh, a monochromatic liquid matte eyeshadow because mm -hmm. they, they dry down really, really beautifully. Okay. I was doing makeup at a strip club uh, in Queens. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Riviera and Queen Thai girls. What is one beauty tip you learned from the dancers at Riviera? I my speed. I got speed. Oh really? So okay. Quickly. When I say speed, it's like one of those things where you have 30 girls waiting to hit the floor, mm -hmm. and you need to sort of give everyone a look. And now you're in a mentor on American Beauty Star. Yeah. What's the best advice someone has shared with you? With Charlotte Silver. When you're an assistant, everyone wants you to fade to the back, mm -hmm. wear black every day. They don't want you to be special. They don't want you to stand out. And so every day I would come and have to dumb myself down for work. With when I assisted. Other people. Yeah. And so she told me one day, Sir John, what's wrong with you today? I'm like, nothing, you know. I was just going about my business and doing what I had to do. Mm -hmm. She's like, I want you to, I'll, you, you're losing that light that you have. I want you to bring out that secret sauce back. That's currency. That's that's cool, mm -hmm. you know. And I was like, whoa, that's the thing. And so once she told me that, I just started to become who I am, as as um, Michelle Obama says, you know. Mm -hmm. This is a liquid lipstick I'm using from Fenty, and I'm mixing that with a little bit of L'Oreal Rouge that we have. And I'm using it as a base for the eyeshadow. And then I'm tapping this shadow on top of it. So this is creating a monochromatic eye. I'm adding a little bit of shimmer. Whoa, mm -hmm. shimmer. See how you roll with the punches? Guys? Yeah. See how you have to roll with the punches? <laughs> yeah. Add that bit of shimmer right on the ball of the eye. And I'm gonna use my finger and just make sure that it really 
blends well. Do you have any trends you think you're gonna be so big in 2019 and one you want us like all to leave behind in 2018? The trend that I love at the moment would happen to be, hold on, we're waiting for a red light because of this pencil, I don't wanna poke her eye out. <laughs> I love that, this ex sense of exploration. When I say exploration, everyone's trying something new. Mm -hmm. Is that for me? Everyone's doing something super cool and there's a huge difference. If you see this huge disconnect from what's happening in fashion and beauty mm -hmm. and the girls who are on Instagram, they wanna look. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think the biggest trend right now is individual beauty. Looking at makeup as an emotional pick-me-up pick is something that's modern and anchored in the now. It can be just something that's bringing a little bit of drama to an otherwise mundane makeup routine. Okay, speaking of beauty secrets, uh -huh. um, what is one of Tina Knowles' beauty secrets? She taught me the, the art of not using eyeshadow. Really? She doesn't like shadow. And I'm like, well, yeah, you sure you don't want to do just the basic brow? No. Mm -hmm. Skipping a step. I think it's so modern to skip a step. Take an eyeliner and make it look like you just like walk a shame liner yeah. with the perfect <laughs> lip. Yeah. That's modern. Mm -hmm. you know? right, so. I love that. What's one look you created on a celebrity that you regret? I don't regret any of the looks. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because you don't know what you like until you know what you don't like. People need contrast mm -hmm. to know what's working, what works, what doesn't work. And at the time, it might have been like all the rave, but maybe a month later or two months later, I'm like, mm, maybe I would have worked that differently or the product placement could have been a little more clean or something like that. Do you have any mascara tips? Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to take your brush and wiggle back and forth from the root like you're brushing your teeth and then up. So back and forth from the root, brushing your teeth and then up. What it does is it creates a lot of separation at the base and give you, it gives you like massive, massive volume. So that's the goal. Lashes are like jewelry, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like you, what do you mean? More is more. Okay. Oh, more is more. I love that. So we're gonna take a bit of the mascara, and I'm gonna go and do a couple dots. I want you to think about things in terms of makeup. Is like, you know what? This is a story I want to tell. And what story is that that we're telling today? Mm -hmm. Is that a lot of shit happened on the way to the club. A lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you work on the world's most perfect human. Oh. Um, has she ever had a pimple or like? Oh my god. Yeah. What? This <laughs> she is does groundbreaking. Have pimples, and I mean, she has beautiful skin. I actually, we everyone likes her without makeup more than makeup. Oh she, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. As the makeup, we're like the bippity boppity boop. You guys seen Cinderella? <laughs> we're like the icing on the cake. <laughs> and hopefully, we have something that you know some women at home would want to translate and make over again. That's mm -hmm. the goal. Principle. What is your like mood board or your vision for like the woman who would wear this out? Like where she had it, Riviera. Uh, no, where she had. <laughs> no, no, so you know, mm -hmm. the thing about is, you know, I, you know what I love about the Cardi B's of the world oh, is that they love. made a place like Riviera. When I was trying to get to Paris. When I was I mean, Milan for Fashion Week, mm -hmm. as you know, as a young guy, I'm working at the strip club. They, mm -hmm. they put a jar, a Fashion Week jar for this guy. They were like, Sir John's Fashion Week fun. Oh my and God. And whenever they came yeah. back, they, put, they took their money and peeled me off dollars. No, 100%. They sent me to Europe for the first time. This isn't a strip club look, mm -hmm. but what this is, I would say, no. is like, I'm leaving work. I don't know if I want to hang out with my girls, mm -hmm. but there's an event. There's not a concert, but we're going to have a little fun and there's going to be pretty lighting. Mm -hmm. You don't need to name <laughs> names, but can you give me some tea on like the craziest celebrity, the craziest story, backstage story, like someone, something just like so wild, everyone at home will be like, <gasps> what? You're gonna know exactly who I'm talking about if I tell you any one of these stories. Really? Yeah. Okay, what if you mix, mix up the st three truths and a lie and then you don't answer what the truth is? This person, she, uh, she wipes lip gloss on her makeup artist's shirt if it's too shiny. Won't name any names. I love we, you're this not gonna game name already. Names. No, 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 no I'm not gonna either. name any names. I'm not even gonna guess, okay. but I just love this game already. Okay, this person, she doesn't want to do a, do a job. And so when she doesn't want to do the job, she creates so much of a fuss on set that it's like, you know, oh, that person's looking at me. I'm out. Well, that person was trying to look at me as I was changing. I'm out. Mm -hmm. And it's like, girl, no one's looking at you. No one's fucking looking <laughs> yeah, at you. Yeah, yeah. So right now we're going to go into a panel discussion for American View Star. It's one of those things where it doesn't matter where you're from or what age you are. We all have a different relationship with the person in the mirror. True. So many young girls mm -hmm. who are suffering from anxiety and depression and bullying because of this beauty industry that we're in. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my goal is to sort of just break some of that up. Yeah, so that's what we're going to talk about right now. Mind you, this is daylight, daytime, and you have sort of a PM look on, but I think you can carry this really well. Mm. And I hope what you guys see in the mirror, not the mirror, but the uh, camera, mm -hmm. is a beautifully blended application of blush. The eyes are not supposed to be perfect, guys. So these eyes are supposed to be haphazard and funky and kind of like, you know, rock star shit. Mm -hmm. You gotta model it for open your eyes and bam, give them all of that. We're about to go in through this panel discussion for American Beauty Star on Lifetime, 10, 9 Central. And I hope that you guys like it. But I hope that you like the conversation and this dialogue even more. Yeah, and this incredible soul. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. do we're this. Late. We're, uh, we're very late, but I'm very excited right, for this go. panel.